We're here. We're here, guys. This is finally happening. Vensex. Vensex? I'm shutting down the donations as soon as this thing starts. One minute left. Oh my fucking god. One minute, guys. Eradication. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my god. Well, this is it, guys. Let's walk into the light together. Oh my god. Let's walk into the light together, guys. Oh my fucking god. Oh, Sakurai, please. Oh, Sakurai, please. Oh, Sakurai, please. This way. What? Kamui? Kamui? Big brother? Are you kidding me? Kamui? Big brother. Kamui? We're your family. No way. No way. My barefoot wife is coming through. I'm so sorry, everyone. Are you kidding me? I have no choice but to. My girl's a barefoot. Don't tell me foot jobs all day. Oh my God! Join oh. No one saw this coming. No one. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh my God! Sorry. No way. No fucking way. Holy shit! Battling You're kidding me! Just kidding me! Oh my fucking god! You're fucking kidding me! Kamui! How? Yato Blade is taking over. How? Sakurai! Oh my god! He's using dragon. He just throws it to the fucking dragon. Power of the first dragon. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god! How? How did he do this? This isn't the balance. Oh my fucking god! We have so many. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! No one saw this coming. I'm getting kicked out today. Oh my fucking god! I can't take this, guys. This isn't it. Leave some for me. Be me a calm away. Be a good wife for all day. Foot jobs, my boy. Let's go. Oh my god. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. Look at those power swaps. I've decided. Sakurai. No one saw this coming. This didn't leak. Legendary heroes of Smash. No one saw that shit coming. I'm Masahiro Daddy Sakurai. From Sora Limited, Daddy the Sakurai. director of Super Smash Brothers. Thank you for watching. Daddy Sakurai. This will be the last video presentation oh. of Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. I hope oh, you enjoy this finale. Oh my God, Kamui. The main character from Fire Emblem Fates. Oh Kamui. Will be joining the fight. As we developed new fighters, we thought to include someone from this upcoming game. That's how we decided to begin production on Korin. Oh, Kamui! It's been a while oh my since gosh, the no one saw this. title launched in Japan, but we're now we, just we, a couple months away from launching it in the rest of the world. We so joked about this! We joked about this! That this wouldn't be able to happen! As with Wii Fit Trainer and Robin, you can choose to play as a male or female version of Korin. Both perform exactly the same, so it's all up to personal preference. You may notice the sword oh, in Korin's shit. hand. It's the final form of the weapon Yato, oh. called Omega Yato. However, that is not his primary way of- Oh playing. my god! New main. Korin has the blood of a dragon in his veins, and this lets him transform. This ability allows him to pull off attacks that no other fighter can. Oh my fucking god. He's capable of changing entirely into a dragon, but some of his moves transform only some parts of his body. His side smash attack has tremendous reach. The tip Holy of his shit. is especially powerful, so consider how far you are from your opponent when you- New Marth, my boy! Spacing tool all day! Air attacks, what?! Sprouts wings. He moves forward when his wings appear, which may just give you the extra boost you need when recovering. Oh my god, this is not real. 
After acting, this did not just happen. Attack, his head changes in appearance. This According did not just happen. Standard special can be charged up by pressing and holding the B button, the Dragon Fang shot. If you land it, your opponent will be paralyzed for a bit. After firing, the transformed hand can also bite a nearby opponent. This follow-up attack can also be charged by holding the B button. This combo deals a lot of damage and can really launch a foe. What? Corrin's side special is a jump followed by... What the fuck? The We're learning everything about this guy! We don't even know him yet! At least in America! This is not just a simple thrust. If you can stick your weapon in the ground successfully, you can remain hanging where you are. You can What's the point of that? your foe in place with this move. What? What the fuck is the After pinning them, you can use a front kick, back kick, jump, or cancel. Pin your opponent, then decide what to do based on the situation. The up special puts Corrin's wings to work. Dragon Ascent. At full wingspan, Corrin has a wide attack range. It hits you going up! That's not like fucking Elwyn! ...for a wider attack, too. Use it wisely. Oh my fucking god! Corrin's down special attack is Counter Surge. It's a counter move familiar to fans of the Band. Fire Emblem Fighters. One big difference is a visual one, the Dragon Transformation. Look carefully and you can see that the opponent's attack... Yo! Other differences include being able to launch opponents upward and attack left and right equally. What?! Corrin's final smash is... Nigga, you're kidding me! Oh god, this is gonna be insane! ...several nearby opponents with a whirl of water and then finish them off all at once. Oh my god! Oh, Kamui! There is no exclusive stage for this new fighter. Yeah, what about new oh, music, then you say? Yes, really? if you purchase Corrin for the Wii U version, you can get two additional music today. tracks. Today! Please let Corrin release today! Kamui, I'm calling it Kamui. The first one let her release Fire today. Emblem Fates theme song, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. It Could, no one saw Corrin. this. No one the saw this coming. A remixed no one. Of the same song we played in the new Challenger video earlier. Both songs will be added to the existing Fire Emblem stages, so you can adjust the odds of them playing in my music. In the Nintendo 3DS version, as a special bonus, we added trophies of Ryoma and Xander from Fire Emblem Fates. They are the eldest brothers from the Hoshido and Nor kingdoms, respectively. Corrin's new challenger illustration was created by Yusuke Kozaki, who is taking care of character designs for Fire Emblem Fates. This is this beautiful! Is challenger illustration. Yo! His first was for Robin. Please check it oh. out on the official website. This is amazing. I've never... We're targeting a February 2016 release... Oh my on. god, come on, not today? Oh my god. We'll announce the exact date later on the official website. Oh my god. From the Final Fantasy series, Cloud Strife will soon join the battle. Adding this character seemed all but impossible, but we made it happen. Because you're a we fucking a god, daddy. For Final Fantasy characters to join it's the not the logo of Seven? But of all of them, Cloud has been requested the most. Wow. Cloud will be available to download as a Super today. Smash Brothers fighter soon. I have some oh information my. to share about him as well. Not today? As usual, Cloud deftly oh handled Lord. Buster Sword as big as his body, but we've weaved in some unique moves and elements too. His side smash will unleash a high-speed three-hit chain attack. Watch his sword move mm. at lightning speed. The yeah, that shit carved the nigga. When he hits, that shit carved the nigga. inspired by the original game. Like usual, daddy. And the two types of costumes include the original from Final Fantasy VII, and one from children. Final Fantasy VII. Advent and he even has a little heiress, bro. The Advent Children costume has a version with the sleeve covering the Geo Stigma on his left arm, and a version without. Such detail. Yo, he he really did go in. Here we go. Let's see if this is like the everybody predicted. Unique features okay. of this fighter is his limit break. A limit Cloud break won the ballot. As you I don't think we're talking ballot right now. Opponents. It's similar to Little Mac's KO gauge, but it isn't normally visible. 
However, you can charge up the limit gauge with what? down special attack. You while it, the, in the limit meter. You you charge it with down special. So what the hell was that other move? His limit break will be activated. This what the hell was that other move? In a blue aura, slightly increasing his stats. And for one use only, oh, he's each broken. of his special attacks will be replaced with limit break versions. He's Fire's broken. Standard special is Blade Beam. This is a wave bullet that moves along the ground and it has a wide attack range. You can use it in the air as well, but it's more powerful on the ground. The limit break version of this special attack leads to a combo hit and a stronger launch. His side special is Cross Slash. That cross slash. It's Cloud's specialized sword move. Wait, it's, button, you press the button multiple times? Opponent, you can complete Ooh, the Japanese okay. Word, Kyo. We didn't know that it was multiple battle, button presses. But if the opponent uses their shield, it will create an opening for them to attack just before you finish the combo. Very Be interesting. Careful. In addition to the damage, the Limit Break version has more launch power. Whew! Kyo. The fuck does that the mean? The special is Climb Hazard. Me? Hey. Strike the opponent, ascend, then Let's press see how the this button again works. to fall and strike at high speed. Hits him when with that bravery? Make sure not to press the button a second time. The limit break version climbs much higher. Yo, you saw that in the trailer. Especially useful when recovering, rather than this attacking. nigga. Sometimes you'll want to save the limit break for later, but get when you're recovering, before you can actually use it. Often you of end course. up having no choice but to use limit break to recover. The down special is limit charge. With this move, you can manually charge the limit gauge. Oh my However, god, this nigga is broken. Is fully charged, the down special becomes a completely different move called Finishing Touch. There's that move we saw. That shit looks fucking OP. This move only causes 1% damage, but its launch power what? is extremely strong. Fighters who've Whoa. accumulated a certain amount of damage better watch out. Yo, dead ass nigga? And of course, this nigga's banned. Final smash is Omni Slash. This nigga got his Air Jordans on? ...attack on the opponent, then crush them completely with this move. Cloud had to have this move, am I right? Of course. We saw he bought his Limit Break Cross Slash into this fucking special. Here's Let's the go. New stage, Midgar. No it's combo stage. you'll recognize from early on but in okay. Final Fantasy VII. Both the Mako Reactor and the Shinra Building can be seen here. It Let's go. It definitely has that cyberpunk feel. Here, True. Summon Materia will appear and the fighter who acquires it will be able to use summons. Most of these so summoned monsters will do something that changes the terrain rather than directly attacking players. Ifrit. Hey. Ifrit creates an inferno that moves the terrain itself. When you touch the fire, you will be damaged. Stay alert and use strategic yeah, yeah, right. elements of the stage to your advantage. So when he has the material, he, he, he lights up. Mamu. This nigga. Ramu manipulates floating terrain by attacking with lightning. You seen you this nigga in 15? Platforms that are charged with electricity, but you'll take damage. Only the oh, this stage is so bad. Will remain unharmed. Oh, of course. Odin. This nigga. Odin can cut the stage in half with a single slice. You can avoid this attack, but if you don't, expect to be instantly KO'd. The split in the stage is a good place to perform a meteor smash. You can't recover. Sure through the you oh get shit! In the middle when the Damn, stage comes nigga! Back together. Oh Leviathan. shit! Leviathan floods the stage with water, which flows from right to left. The difference Yo. between Midgar and other stages with rapid currents is that if you're swept away by water, the fighter who summoned Leviathan will get points. Oh, Bahamut zero. Uh -oh. From high above, Bahamut Zero fires a devastating attack. It's an area of effect Damn. attack, and the flare will continue for a while, so the fighter who summoned him should try to force opponents into the blast. Nigga, damn! Whoever collected the summon materia will get a point for any fighters launched to their doom by summons. Oh, try to shit. get as much summon materia as you Yo, can. Yo, did you see the way that nigga jumped out the water? We created Cloud and the okay. main stage for the Nintendo 3DS version. So we got to, oh, it's, oh course, very nice. Summon in that version too. Very nice, Daddy. Cloud's new challenge and the artwork work was created by Tetsuya Nomura himself. 
I really appreciate that Mr. Nomura, who did the original design, also created the illustrations this time. Nigga, it's damn! It's really to see Nintendo characters in this style, and it's groundbreaking that a fight between Link and Cloud has been officially drawn. Oh my, he, he, death battle. Cloud will become available <laughs> for purchase. He, I, we knew it. Of this Very good. We knew it. Once distribution good has good, begun, good you may experience some wait times due to high server demand. Please you better get on that us. quick. You better get the on that quick. for Cloud and the Midgar stage is shown here. You gotta get on that I shit hope fast, you'll my enjoy boy. playing as Cloud, who miraculously oh, yeah, we will. joined the fight from Final Fantasy. Yes, Daddy, but now you know what we're truly waiting for. At the same time as Cloud, we will release a Chocobo hat for Me Fighters. You can use it to dress up your Me Fighter. Hey, they got the Chocobo race theme! And thanks to our relationship with Square Enix, we will release another Me Fighter costume. Okay. Let's see. Very nice. Oh, Geno has a full costume. Really now? Hey. Oh my lord, Daddy! Do you know how many people's PG Legend of the Seven Stars? We're adding a Gino Me Fighter outfit. Like the Me Gunner, Gino shoots from a gun on his arm, so it's a natural fit. Of course, of course. Since this is our last presentation. Here are the final Me Fighter costumes. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Refresh the page if the shit is uh. What the fuck? Refresh the page, guys. That chocobo theme? Okay. That's just very damn shit. Is... Whoa! What's this? Wait, we didn't see any of this. What the fuck? Oh, Takamaru? Okay, very nice. Okay. Ashley? Yo! Yo! Yo, refresh, guys. What? Tails as a costume, my boy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And Nukusa? My nigga Nakusa? He ain't in PM, but he's in Wii U now. Yo, here we go, guys. Prepare your fucking selves. You're not ready for this. Holy shit. Oh my god, Kamui. He put my fucking girlfriend in the game. He put my girlfriend in the game. Hold on, guys. This is it. This is it, guys. By the way, me fighters we showed in the past sometimes look like they have similar faces to the original characters in the intro videos and screenshots. On the official website, we have QR code patterns for some of these characters. If you download the Me characters through these, you can quickly create pretty solid look-alike fighters. So please use them if you're interested. Hey, Inkling. This is really it, guys. Is this, is this shit really ending? It's so fun that I it's don't even think it is. It's been almost one year since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. Yeah. However, this is finally the climax. This is not... Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. Oh my lord, this Please is not... at the final new challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Hold, hold your fucking dicks. Hold your dicks tight. Hold them tight, my boys. This is the sun! Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Hades? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Bayonetta! Oh! Nigga! Oh, shit. You niggas did not think this would happen. Oh, my fucking God! Who is that? Daddy Sakurai! It's an Umber Witch. Oh my fucking god! Cheeky. This Who saw this? Species. We all said it was not possible. We all said it was impossible. She's too sexy for Smash, right? Hell no, nigga. Boom! 
Isn't it? Her wicked weaves attack summoned the Damn, this girl is bad. No. Gotcha. What? None of you knew. Oh my god, did she win the balance? She slows down time? She's broken. She's fucking broken. If you need Kirby? to learn how to talk to a lady. Alternate? Yo! I never played Bayonetta, but god damn it! She slows down time, my boy! What do you do in response to that? How the fuck do you combat somebody that can do that? A whole new level for her? Nigga! Don't tell me you're done already. Look at a grab! Did you see that pummel? Be such a wimp. Pitu, come on. Hey, come on, man. Uh oh. For the best part. Smashing. That's Gamora. She can also summon huge demons. Enough to. Oh goddess. lord. Damn, baby girl. Daddy Sakura, you have made the greatest game to ever embrace a Nintendo console. The Umbra Witch who hunts angels, Bayonetta. She's finally joining the battle. We've been asking for your opinion on the Super Smash Bros. Fighter Ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. She was? In North America, she was among the top five. Whoa! This ranking includes even fighters from previous games in the series, among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice worldwide. Wow! In Super Smash Bros., Bayonetta is a fighter with many characteristics based on the original games. The more you learn to control her, the more you can feel that- No King K. Rool, my boy! Oh my god! No Shovel Knight! No fucking Shantae! She is a combo fighter. And not just weak attacks, even her strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on, can land multiple hits. What? However, her combos are a bit This chick is so bad. This is also similar oh, okay. to the original games. Each special really move can strike multiple times, so you should be able to perform some very elegant aerial combo attacks. Bayonetta Yo, style. she looks so fucking... After an attack, Press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is programmed into almost all of Bayonetta's moves, so you can fire even in the middle of combo attacks. How deep is that? The shots themselves won't slow enemies down, so you have oh. to watch out for counterattacks. Oh, okay. Box laser. Bayonetta is equipped with four guns, one on each of her hands and feet, so she can shoot whether she's punching or kicking. It's possible to inflict additional damage to opponents at a distance, or steal points by hitting a fighter who's about to be knocked off the stage. The guns from Bayonetta the kill stealing. are called Love is Blue, and the guns from the original Bayonetta are called Scarborough Fair. All four guns in each set have different names. Here's her wicked weaves. For this attack, wow. she uses her hair as a conduit to summon the limbs of the infernal demon, Madama Butterfly. Holy it's shit, this game looks amazing! And it's huge by any measure. Even Palutena's. When used at the edge of a stage, her down smash attack is massively effective. This, this girl is so... signature move, Witch Time. It reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time. This is her down special attack, and it's activated like a counterattack. While your opponent is moving slowly, strike back. We can't make the entire game slow down every time she uses Witch Time, so instead, it only slows down the opponent you're countering. Oh, uh, okay, alright. The length of slowdown time is determined by several factors. The higher the opponent's accumulated damage, the longer the effect. But if you use it repeatedly, its effect will be shorter. What? When Witch Time is triggered late, Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. Bat Within protects Bayonetta. This looks insane! The dodge move is about to fail. 
Many of her signature visual effects appear as well, adding a bit of flashiness to brawls. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. And aerial jumps show off her butterfly wings. During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shadow is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Wow. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too. Whoa! So you can dance damn! If you want to. Damn, girl! Bayonetta has two costumes. There's the blue costume. From She's Bayonetta so deep! Team, like in terms of her fucking her design? Hair, and the A Witch with No Memories costume from the original Bayonetta. There's also a color variation inspired by Jean. Bayonetta's standard special is Bullet Climax. She can shoot with her hands or her feet. The guns always shoot slightly upward, but you can fire continuously. Also, if you press... Oh lord, button, that's zoning hell right will there. Charge up. If used on the ground, her side special is Heel Slide. By holding the button, you can add a kick at the end. This way, you can make a combo as well. However, if you use it in the air, her side special is Afterburner Kick instead. This is the first it time changes in the that fucking... the name of the move changes depending on where you use it. What? If you hit your opponent in the air with Afterburner Kick, you can then strike with another one. Also, if you use the Afterburner Kick after pressing down, then you can angle it diagonally downward. Let's just say, if you often use Ryu's traditional Hadouken command, oh it should be easy Lord. to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Her up special is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it, and you can use it once again mid-jump. Whoa! If you keep holding the button, you can shoot too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump, then jump and, and then use Witch Twist again. On top of that, oh you my can even god! Add in airborne combos. This chick looks amazing. Kick after using Witch Twist too. However, the more moves you add, Yo, the did you see the that? you'll leave when you finally land. So be Holy careful. shit! Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. Her final smash is Infernal Climax. The way this move activates is also very unique. First, Witch Time goes into effect and the entire screen slows down. The climax gauge will be displayed, which means it's time to damage opponents to fill up the gauge. When the climax gauge is full, you'll summon the infernal demon Gamora, who will lunge for any opponents you attack while maxing out the gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is over 100%, they'll be finished immediately, so it works Damn, like a danger nigga. zone. You can also throw in multiple opponents at once, so please try it out. He, the, she looks done! She has a level 2, my boy! There's also a Bayonetta stage, Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, the Falling Clock Tower. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right next to it just to mix things up. If you Ooh, want to really? win, utilize the terrain well. Maybe we legal? In the middle of a match, once you enter the alternate world, Purgatorio, you'll see an army of angels, and once you pass it, you won't see them anymore. Angels like Inspired and Fortitudo have guest appearances as well. For the Wii U version, we picked some memorable songs from both Wii U version, the so there's a 3DS version Bayonetta too. 2. There's a 3DS there version. There are also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Brothers. We hope you enjoy them. They went so hard for In her. Addition to Bayonetta, she won the ballot. We created Jean, Rodan, and Cereza trophies as well. If you purchase and download Bayonetta in Super Smash Brothers, you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development team member Eiji Funahashi. Yo. It's an impressive work showcasing Yo, Lucina. The light and dark. So take some time to soak in all the details on the official website. Yo, Lucina.
Why are they considered villains though? Villager and what Bayonetta's the hell? Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. We'll need a little more time, so please be patient until she is released. Just like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Oh Once my it's finalized, lord! We will announce the exact release date on the official website. And now we have some news about Amiibo. Amiibo okay. of Ryu, Roy, okay. and Rob, with his Famicom colors, will be released on March 18th, 2016. Please stay All tuned right. for retailer and pre-order information. And we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three fighters that we covered today. Thank you. Cloud, Corin, and Bayonetta. Each of them will have the artwork Amiibo was amazing. Figures. Their release dates are still to be determined. Please no wait Sora. for further no information. No Sora. I understand where you're coming from, guys. Yo, I still Each can't believe it. Announced fighters, Corin, Cloud, and Bayonetta have specific characteristics and skills. Their battle styles are all unique as well, so we hope you enjoy Damn playing right they them are. and fighting against them. Super unique. Kamui. It's been over a year since we finished development Damn. of the original game. We've continued to develop new fighters and stages, and it's created a huge volume of content. The total number of fighters is 58. Counting the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions together, the no total ice number climbers? of stages no is wolf? 84. And counting the male and female versions together, the total number of Mii Fighter costumes is 99. There are Damn, 97 Sakurai. Hats. The total number of trophies is 743 wow, this for is Wii it. U and 707 for Nintendo 3DS. The total number of music tracks, such as stage music, is 507, victory jingles and the like aside. I believe everyone, everyone, calm down in the chat. For a competitive action game. Calm down in the chat, guys. Wait, in there might be sales, more. It's certainly best to create downloadable content while developing the original game, then release them close to the game's launch. But for this specific title, we created downloadable content from scratch after finishing the original game's development. Each piece of content Damn. requires intense work. I Without bet. Without your support, we couldn't have made it. Thank you Look at so all those much. DLC characters, man. Damn, guys. I know some of you must In be Super hurting Smash right now. Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a variety of fighters have appeared, making possible certain matchups we never would have imagined. Wow, Daddy. We hope all of these characters will continue to make great appearances in many titles to come. They, they, they will, Daddy. I greatly appreciate they will. the developers of each game featured and wow. the fans. Daddy Sakura, I know what to fucking look at. God damn. And with that, I thank you. Thank you, Daddy Sakura. Oh man, goodbye. Oh my God, this is it. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys, it, it's come to an end, yo. Hey, Robin! Wow. This <laughs> okay. Yo, thank you, Daddy Sakurai. Let's get a thank you, Daddy Sakurai. That was amazing, man. Oh my fucking god. It's over, bro. Wow, that is the end of Sakurai's Wild Ride. Oh my fucking god. Guys, I know. I know. Some of you are hurting. That was it, guys. It's all over, man. Super Smash Brothers has come to an end, man. At least the Wii U and 3DS version. Oh my god. That's it. Dudes. We have walked into the light, my friends. We this is it. There is no more left for us. This this I I would not have preferred riding in this goddamn car, in this goddamn seat with anyone else but you all. I really want to thank you for, for being there with me, for being so excited with me from the moment that this started. Whether you joined me when I was first starting this out or up till now where this is the end of the road, guys, we just got 
an amazing conclusion to one of the best games to ever come out for a Nintendo console, as I said before. Maybe some of us didn't get what we wanted. Our expectations were definitely not what was the actual reality. And I'm glad, because it left a lot of room for surprises. We all felt that there was some, some aspects of Smash Brothers that we knew for a fact. But it just comes down to it once more. We do not know what Daddy Sakurai had in his mind. We do not know what he was predicting. We didn't get some of what we wanted. We didn't get our wolf. We didn't get our ice climbers. We didn't we didn't get the ones who wanted Shovel Knight Shantae. We didn't get our Shovel Knight. We didn't get our Shovel Knight. We didn't get our Sora. We didn't get our Rayman. We didn't get our King K. Rule. One thing that really raises my curiosity is who truly won the ballot in the United States. We know for a fact that it was Bayonetta that won in Europe. But who truly won in the United States? She was in the top five. But I guess we'll never know. The answer to that question remains a mystery. One thing that Sakurai did say at some point during this was, well, out of everything that was possible for us, Bayonetta was the easiest option. So they've been working on her for a while, dude. For her to have that much completion of the stage, the final smash, the moves, everything pretty much ironed out, polished out, and God almighty, she looks like she's going to be a fucking, a fucking slobber knocker. My boys, some of you are disappointed, I understand. Some of you are disappointed. Maybe some of you are pissed off. But either way, guys, we need to get Cloud. He comes out today, within a few hours. Let's see if we can find out any further confirmation information from Nintendo. Oh, my goodness.